To mark the 200th anniversary of the founding of the town of Greece, the Greece Historical Society presents a Bicentennial Snapshot. Each week, we take a look at a particular aspect of Greece history. Today, we are talking about the Dewey Stone neighborhood, first called Barnard's Crossing, or simply Barnard. After the annex of Charlotte by the city of Rochester in 1916, Dewey Stone became the first and is now the oldest neighborhood in the town of Greece. It's bounded on the south by the railroad tracks at Barnard's Crossing, on the north by English Road, the east by Stonewood Avenue, and the west by Mount Reed Boulevard. On this 1902 map, you can see that the area is still mostly farmland. But by the 1920s, partially in response to a booming Kodak Park, the land was being sold for residential development. Reflecting the times in which they were built, the homes are smaller and closer together than more modern houses, an arrangement that fostered neighborliness. Here you will find mostly Cape Cod styled homes, but some lovely craftsmen bungalows such as the one pictured here on Briarcliff Road. Dewey Stone has the largest concentration of bungalow homes in Monroe County and unique garage homes. During the Depression, the town allowed people who couldn't afford to build a home to build a two-story garage and live there until they could build a standard home. But in many cases, the larger house was never constructed. These homes are set far back from the road because the main house was going to be built in front of them. There are even a few Sears homes built in the Dewey Stone area. These houses were assembled from kits ordered through Sears Roebuck & Company. Quote, Sears provided building plans and specifications along with the lumber and any other materials needed. The shipment included everything from nails, screws, and paint to pre-built building parts such as staircases and dining nooks. End quote. This house here, located on Swansea Park, was constructed in 1935 along the plans of the Barrington number 3260 which was printed in the 1930s Sears Roebuck and Company catalog. With the highest concentration of residents in the town, naturally businesses and other services gravitated to the area. The logical site to establish a hub was the Dewey, Stone, and Maiden Lane crossroads. One of the earliest establishments was Norman Cooper's Grocery on the northeast corner of Dewey Stone. The gas station was Esig's. In 1928, next to Norm Cooper's businesses, John Reed purchased the corner lot from Dewey Avenue to Almay Road, building a block of five stores on Stone Road. It was the first shopping center in Greece. Reed ran the Barnard Market and was succeeded after his death in 1957 by his two sons, Jack and Jim. This is what the Reed block looks like today. Leon Cox helped found the Barnard Fire Department, was a town councilman and a leading businessman of the area. In the summer of 1929, he and his wife Bertha opened a simple roadside hot dog stand, which eventually morphed into one of the best known establishments in Greece, the Dutch Mill. They expanded the business into a bar and restaurant after Prohibition ended. Over the years, the building was renovated and enlarged to hold all sorts of gatherings from card tournaments to wedding receptions. The name changed to the new Dutch Mill, but reverted to simply the Dutch Mill under its last owners. In April 2022, after 93 years, the Dutch Mill closed its doors for good. One of the first strip malls, the Dewstone Shopping Center, opened in 1948 and featured Star Market. The year before Dewstone opened in a building just to the west, Jack Simmons opened a bakery. In 1960, he purchased property across the street at 614 Stone Road for his Jackson's Bakery. Today, quote, it still operates in its original 2,400 square foot footprint with a small retail area in front and production room in back, end quote. People from all over the county come to Jackson's for their kuchen, cakes, and cookies. People who lived and grew up in the Dewey Stone neighborhood characterize it as a village. All the shops and services they needed were close by. This ad listing the businesses in the neighborhood was prefaced with the text, The thriving Dewey Stone Road shopping section offers residents of this pleasant residential community a concentrated shopping service that is complete in every respect. All types of stores are included, and they offer a large variety of merchandise at fair prices. You're doing business with a friend when you shop at the Dewey Stone Road Center. You'll find it most convenient, too. The professional services of doctors and dentists, 
are also available in the neighborhood as part of this well-organized community. There were 10 grocery stores, a shoe store, a jewelry store, barbers, a tailor, ice cream shops, and candy store, such as Johnny's Sweet Shop at the corner of Dewey and Beverly Heights, where you would also learn the latest gossip. On the southeast corner of Dewey and Stone for many years was McBride Brothers Grocery, which then became McBride's Tavern and Restaurant. McBride stood on the site of the old Sklar family home. Not surprisingly, in addition to the commercial establishments, schools and churches were centered here as well. Barnard School was at Dewey and Maiden Lane. To learn more about the Common School District Number 15 Barnard School, click here in the upper right. The predecessor of Bethany's Presbyterian Church, the Dewey Avenue Union Church, located at Dewey and Haviland Park, was founded in 1898. In 1929, it was received into the Presbytery of Rochester and changed its name. They moved to their current location, just north of the Reed Block on Dewey, in 1952. Look closely at the church in the background of this photo we showed you before from the blizzard of 66. Notice that there is no steeple. The steeple which now dominates the skyline was completed in 1989. St. Charles Borromeo Roman Catholic Parish was established in 1929 with a church and school built across the street from Barnard School. The church was completely remodeled in 1952 with a Spanish mission motif. In 1966, ground was broken for a new larger church which would be set closer to Dewey Avenue. It opened on Easter Sunday 1967. Quote, Early in 1927, a group of civic-minded citizens of the Barnard District, seeing the rapid growth of the section, decided that some form of fire protection was needed. This group set about to organize a fire department, and on April 14, 1927, this was realized by having the incorporation papers approved by the Greece Town Board. End quote. We'll talk more about the Barnard Fire District in our next snapshot. George H. Clark donated the land for the firehouse, and also circa 1940, he donated 80 acres to the Diocese of Rochester for an orphanage. His property was once the Vic Seed Farm, which we told you about in Snapshot 13. In the late 1930s, as foster care was beginning to supplant orphanages, three in the city of Rochester closed their doors, but there were about 70 boys and girls for whom homes could not be found. The Sisters of St. Joseph opened St. Joseph's Villa. Eventually, their mission transitioned to helping children in crisis. The children were housed in English cottages. Thomas Boyd Jr., Rochester's first African-American architect, had a hand in designing some of the features of these cottages. In 2013, since it was no longer affiliated with the Diocese of Rochester or the Sisters of St. Joseph, St. Joseph's Villa became Villa of Hope. The Dewey Stone area had regular library service, but not its own public library. The book caravan stopped at the Dewey Avenue Union Church beginning in 1923 and was succeeded by the Monroe County Bookmobile for decades. The Greece Public Library was established in 1958 with its first home in Greece Olympia High School. The main library was constructed on Mitchell Road. Four branches were added, Patty Hill, North Greece, Loudon Point, and finally Dewey Stone in 1980. This branch was a storefront library located in the Dew Stone Shopping Center. The branch was moved to Dewey Avenue at Florence Avenue and renamed Barnard's Crossing in 1998 and was the only branch retained after the new main library opened on the Town Hall campus in 2000. In 2014, it moved again, a bit to the north on Dewey Avenue between Odessa and Shady Way. It was refashioned into a popular reading library. During the COVID pandemic, Barnard Crossing was closed, and there are no plans to reopen it. Over the years, some annual traditions developed in the Dewey Stone neighborhood. For example, every summer, Norman Cooper would give a bicycle to a lucky child. In this photo, children are gathered around Mr. Cooper in hopes that their name would be called. From 1938 to the early 1960s, the holiday season ended and the new year was celebrated with a 12th night bonfire on January 6th. Residents would bring their Christmas trees to a site, for many years St. Joseph's Villa, and a huge bonfire was lit. In 1938, there were more than a thousand trees in a pile 20 feet high. Every year, people would line the streets to watch the parade that kicked off the annual Barnard Fire Department's Carnival and Parade. The carnival was held every year from 1928 to 2016.
Thanks for joining us this week. Next week, we look at the Barnard and Lakeshore Fire Districts. This is Maureen Whalen inviting you to join us next Tuesday for another Bicentennial Snapshot presented by the Greece Historical Society. Want to learn more from the Greece Historical Society and Museum? Then click that subscribe button for more content and hit that bell icon to get notified when there's more Bicentennial Snapshots. You can visit us on the web at greasehistoricalsociety.org. You can find us on Facebook at Greece Historical Society. And you can stop in at the Greece Historical Society at 595 Long Pond Road.